This week, we will be learning about making connections. When we read, we find ways that the text is like things in our own lives and other texts we have read. There are three ways we can make connections to the text. We can use text-to-self connections, we can use text-to-text connections, and we can use text-to-world connections. Let's first take a look at text-to-self connections. When you make a text-to-self connection, you're relating something from the story to yourself. For example, when I was reading the story, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, it made me think of the time when I really wanted cookies and I wasn't allowed to have them. Just like when Pigeon wants to drive the bus, but he's not allowed to. Now let's take a look at text-to-text -text connections. When I am making a text-to-text -text connection, I am relating something from the story that I am currently reading to a story that I have read in the past. For example, when Pigeon wants to drive the bus and don't let the Pigeon drive the bus, it reminds me of when the cows wanted electric blankets from the farmer in Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. Finally, let's take a look at text-to-world connections. When you are making text-to-world connections, you are relating something from the story you are currently reading to something that's happening in your community or neighborhood or even the news. For example, when Pigeon wants to drive the bus, it makes me think about how bus drivers right now have to wear masks when they drive the bus. Thank you so much for watching this quick video about making connections. I hope you have just as much fun making connections as I did.